Hey there! Welcome to this quick tutorial for the Lip Sync tool for After Effects. If you're an animator looking to speed up your dialogue workflow, this tool is for you. Designed for clean, marker-based lip sync animation, this script helps you copy, sync, and shift mouth presets and animations with just a few clicks. Let's dive in and I'll walk you through the whole tool, feature by feature. First up, installation. You can either drop the Lip Sync Tool script file right into your After Effects Scripts Script UI Panels folder or install it from After Effects. File, Scripts, Install Script UI Panel. Then launch After Effects, go to Window, and you'll find Lip Sync Tool in the Script UI Panels list. Quick tip it's better to have Panel docked so you can use standard After Effects hotkeys while working on Lip Sync. Dock it wherever it's convenient and you're ready to go. The tool has three main tabs, Lip Sync, Copy Paster, and Marker Shift. Each one helps with a different part of the animation workflow. Lip Sync is for button-based mouth presets pasting. Copy Paster lets you reuse full animation structures, copy Lip Sync from one character to another, replace different emotional presets in a few clicks, and so on. And Marker Shift gives you precise control over timing. The Lip Sync tab works by using a preset layer, a layer that already has mouth shapes, vice mies, or even full animations synced to markers. Think of it as your personal vice me library. Important! The preset layer must match the structure of the target art layer you're applying the animation to. If the layer properties don't align, for example, different names or hierarchies, the keyframes won't copy correctly. The easiest way to ensure a perfect match is to duplicate the preset layer and remove its markers and keyframes. Later in this tutorial, you'll see how the Lip Sync tool has features to make this process easier. Click Get Markers to load mouth shapes from the preset layer. Then select your target layer, move the playhead to the right spot, and click a Vezami button. Done! Mouth shape keyframes copied directly from the preset layer in one click. Repeat this process to animate entire phrases, syllable by syllable. Quick tip, hold Command or Control on Windows, and left click and drag in the timeline to scrub the audio. That's the power of Lip Sync Tool. This makes it much easier to hear exactly where a keyframe should go. You can also enable copy easing to preserve the easing from the preset keyframes. Or if you'd prefer to let After Effects apply its default easing, just leave the checkbox unchecked. The Copy Paster tab is all about copying, fast and easy. Start by clicking Set Preset Layer. This marks the layer you'll be copying markers or keyframes from. Every button shows helpful tooltips when you hover over them, so you don't need to keep the manual open all the time. Copy Keyframes. This button looks at the current layer's marker names and matches them to the preset layer. It then copies the corresponding animation into the work area range, right where the markers are. Quick tip. Use hotkeys to set the work area. Press B to set the beginning, then press N to set the end of a work area range. Want to copy outside the work area and use the full pre-comp duration? Hold Shift while clicking. Enable Copy Easing from Preset to match the preset keyframe easing. Or leave it unchecked to keep existing easing or use the default. Copy Markers. This pastes only the markers onto the selected art layer, starting from the current playhead position. Use Set Work Area to define which part of the preset layer you want to copy markers from. Hold Shift to copy all markers from the entire preset layer duration. Clear Markers. This removes all markers within the work area of the selected layer. Hold Alt to also remove associated keyframes. Hold Shift to clear all markers on the layer regardless of the work area. Clone. The Clone button copies markers, keyframes, and their easing, one to one. Set the work area to define what part of the animation to clone. Move the playhead to choose where the cloned animation will be pasted. Quick tip. Set the work area to match the entire pre-comp duration to create looping animations. Bonus tip. Want to copy lip sync animation between different characters? Use this three-step method. Step one. Copy the art layer with markers from the first character's pre-composition and paste it temporarily into the second character's comp. Step 2. Use copy markers to transfer the markers from this temporary layer to new character's mouth art layer. 
Step 3. Set the new character's own preset layer, then use copy keyframes to populate its animation with mouth shapes unique to this character. Here's another example of how copy keyframes can help you fix things quickly and easily. Let's say you've already created a lip sync animation, but the emotion is off. The voiceover sounds sad, but you accidentally used happy presets. No problem. If you have two different preset layers, one for happy dialogue and one for sad, you can fix it in seconds. Select the correct preset layer, in this case, the sad one, and click set preset layer. Select your art layer and set the work area to cover the section you want to fix. Uncheck the copy easing from preset option to preserve your current easings. Click copy keyframes. That's it. The mistake is fixed. Marker shift. Timing shifts happen, and the marker shift tab helps you fix them fast. Start by setting a shift value. This defines how many frames you want to move things. Then, use the arrow buttons to nudge all markers within the work area to the left or right. If you want to move the keyframes along with the markers, enable Move Keyframes. This keeps the animation perfectly synced. Shift based on playhead. Need more control? You can shift markers and keyframes based on their position relative to the playhead. Here's how it works. Shift left before playhead moves everything left of the playhead to the left. Shift left after playhead moves everything right of the playhead to the left. Shift right before playhead moves everything left of the playhead to the right. Shift right after playhead moves everything right of the playhead to the right. Range shift panel. For fine tuning, try the range shift panel. It focuses on a specific range near the playhead. Set the range in frames. Nudge marker and keyframes within that range. Tip, use a shift value of one for small adjustments. This helps avoid accidentally overwriting nearby markers or keyframes. Note, by default, all these tools work within the work area only. But if you hold shift, the tools will ignore the work area and apply to the whole layer. Together, these tools give you precise control over your timing. Whether you're animating a complex dialogue or just speeding up your workflow, Lip Sync Tool is designed to save you hours. In fact, the flexibility of Lip Sync Tool goes far beyond just lip sync animation. It works just as well for eye expressions, hand gestures, or any element that shifts from one emotional state to another with smooth interpolation. Whether it's a raised eyebrow, a clenched fist, or a subtle blink, anything that can be keyframed and timed can benefit from this workflow. It gives you the freedom to experiment, knowing you can fix mistakes without starting over. Now available on ASScripts.com. Thanks for watching and happy animating.